Hey everyone, welcome back to the fifth video in the Sudoku uh, Android series. Sorry that I've been away for so long. I've been busy <laughs> with school and work and stuff like that. Um, but I'm hoping to finish up this series uh, and keep making content as I can. So in this video we're going to add starting cells, which is meaning cells that can't be edited. They're like the base uh, set of cells in the beginning of the Sudoku game. And we'll just bold them and change their background color a little bit. So to get started, uh, the first thing we need is actually a new variable in this cell class. Uh, and remember, the cell class is in the game folder uh, under cell. And this variable is just going to be uh, is starting cell, and we'll make that a boolean, and we'll set the default value to false. It's more of an exception for a starting cell to be or a cell to be a starting cell. Um, and then if you do Alt Enter. We can do this. Put parameters on separate lines, and do sh uh, Shift Tab to bring it back, just to clean up our code a little bit, make it a little bit easier to read. All right. Um, next thing we need to do is actually update um, the UI for a starting cell. So to do this, we'll go to View Custom uh, Sudoku Board View, um, and in here we need to add a couple of new paints. Um, I'm just going to grab this text paint and copy it down here. And we'll call this uh, selected, uh, not selected, starting cell text paint. Um, we'll make the font size a little bit bigger. And then what we'll also change here is the typeface uh, to typeface dot uh, default bold. Um, and I said earlier we'll fix the font sizes up. We'll do that uh, probably in the next video. Uh, we'll make the font sizes scale automatically to the screen size. We don't have to deal with all of this um, setting default, like basically hard coding values. Um, let's also call it be this selected cell paint. This is going to be um, starting cell paint instead. And we'll just change this color to AC, AC, AC. Um, and that is basically just going to be a darker gray. All right. Um, looks like we can also replace this. If you do Alt Enter again, um, replace with Min uh, Kotlin Min. Just a little bit nicer, easier to read. All right. So the first thing we need to do is actually update the cell filling logic. Um, basically, we need to add a case for if it's a starting cell or not. So we can just check that right here, if uh, it dot is starting cell. And so we've added that attribute to our cell class. Um, then we'll just do the same thing, fill cell. But instead, we'll use the uh, starting cell paint instead. So that's all we need to do there. And then the next thing we need to do is actually update the text drawing logic. Um, right now, we just use the default uh, text paint, so we need to actually make a decision here. Um, and to do this, we can just do uh, val, and we'll call this uh, paint to use. And basically, just if the current cell is a starting cell, then we'll just use the uh, starting cell text paint. Otherwise, we'll use text paint. And then we can just copy this paint to use and replace all of the text paint usages with that. Um, and this little line here is basically like a ternary in uh, Java. So just like a one-line uh, if-else statement. Um, it's actually not a ternary. It's actually just a regular if statement in Kotlin, since if statements actually uh, are expressions and return and have value. Um, but that's kind of getting off topic. It's not really that important. Um, so that's all we really need to change, actually, for the actual view logic. Now we need to actually update, um, basically, uh, the game logic. Basically, to make sure that people cannot select uh, cells that are starting cells. So to do this, let's go to the Sudoku game class, which is in the game, um, the game folder. And we need to change two things here. First is the update selected cell. Basically, we want to check if the cell that we're tapping on is starting is a starting cell, then we shouldn't run any of this code. So to do this, we actually need to add something to the board class. Um, we'll just add a function called uh, is starting cell. 
I suppose we can just grab the cell and check it, but you know, let's actually just do that. It's, there's no need to really clutter up this uh, board class with that information. So Sudoku game, and then we'll go here and we'll say uh, if not board dot get cell low call dot is starting cell. So if it's not a starting cell, then we'll run this code. So if it is a starting cell, the selected row won't get updated, and the selected column won't get updated, and the UI won't get updated at all, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll also add a check here um, to make sure uh, change this to a no not. Basically, we'll say um, if the selected row and column happen to be a starting cell somehow, don't let the user input any. This shouldn't happen because we have this check here, but uh, just in case any logic changes, it's, it's not a bad idea to add this check. And then lastly, let's take a couple of these cells and then actually change them to starting cells to make sure our functionality is working correctly. Um, so just choose a couple random numbers. I mean, they have to between, be between 0 and 80 since there's only uh, 81 elements in our cells. Um, so yeah, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, if you look at the emulator or whatever phone you're running it on, you'll see that these two cells are now a little bit bigger size font. Um, their background is different and they're bolded. Um, and you can see we can still select cells just fine, um, but if we try to tap on these cells, it doesn't work. So that's exactly what we wanted. Um, yeah, in the next video, we'll add notes for cells so you can keep track of possible moves that you can make and then remove them as well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.